So I lied to you. I said I was gonna shoot the 95 next, but I decided to go with the R7. Why? I wanna go up in increments as far as what I own and able to do and see at what power level what shoots what. This is my second lowest powerful air gun. This is the R7 and is currently shooting the same HNN 8.64 at about seven and a half foot pound energy. Let's test the same three. Gonna do the HNN, the knockouts, and the Makos and see what kind of performance we get out of those. So there is that uh, first grouping with the H&N, uh, but I unfortunately messed with my scope in the middle of the shooting and that third shot was a flyer due to that. So I did a take two. You could see that is a more tighter group. That's about a quarter inch or so. And uh, that's what I usually get out of this gun. Today's not uh, one of my steadiest days either. I'm you know, shaking up a little bit, but um, <clears throat> try to do the best shooting I can, and there it is, it grouped pretty well. Uh, let's check out the uh, knockouts. I uh, may take a couple more shots out of this and see, but um, definitely about an inch, almost an inch um, spread, but two of them went into the same hole. Mm, worthy of a little more uh, experimentation. And the uh, Makos, uh, same, pretty much same difference. Uh, like a runaway and then two real tight. Uh, again, this is a seven foot pound air gun. No surprises there. The HNN 8.64 at 27 yards performed perfectly. I did have to do a take two because uh, apparently the scope was set at the wrong magnification I have not touched this gun in probably well over a month and you could see the first two shots were pretty much on point on target but the magnification was all wrong and I was having a hard time seeing. I adjusted it and my point of impact went quite off so um, went ahead and do a take two and you could see that group for yourself very tight. Um, I'm gonna take a few more shots of each just to you know verify uh, the results that I got I got mixed results on those uh, both of those slugs I want to make sure that that was not just coincidence or if the other two were flyers or what so I'm gonna take up to seven shots with each and let's see what happens then so I took a total of seven shots including the first three that I took and just very random, about an inch or so. So um, we can conclude that, yep, those are not gonna work out of a seven and a half, roughly foot pound energy gun. Move down to the Makos. Uh, yep, that's a no go either. Uh, even uh, might be even a little more spread out, although that was a flyer for sure. That was my fault. The rest, you know, um, were true good shots. So. And the h and you know, um, that's what it's going to keep shooting for now. Well, definitely not the platform to be shooting slugs out of. That was about an inch or so. Might be okay if you're shooting at cans, but not if you're trying to hit 
a live quarry, like a maybe small rabbit, a chipmunk, squirrel, anything like that. So we're not gonna be hunting with the slugs out of this, but at least now I know. And speaking of knowing, uh, I've gotten some comments down below, which, you know, I appreciate to whatever degree, but um, this may seem silly to you and it might could be, but I just have fun doing it. And for me, it's about discovery and learning and seeing what the, um, you know, what what's capable of doing. Yeah, uh, you know, most of us are not gonna be shooting slugs out of very low powered springers. Okay, fair enough. But it, it's just something I do. I enjoy doing it and uh, what if, what if they do and all of a sudden you have an option. So that's all there is to it and um, I'm gonna keep doing it. Have fun. All right, take care y'all.